Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're so glad to have you here. If you're new, my name is Brianne. My husband's name is Andrew, and we are on a health and fitness journey. We have recently switched over from WW to calorie counting, and it's been pretty good for us. So today we're gonna bring you a all day, what we eat in a day, calorie counting with a calorie deficit. And this morning I am out on my walk slash run. I like to walk a little bit and then I am trying to increase my endurance in running. So we'll see how that goes, but it's a nice chilly morning, but at least the sun is out <laughs> unlike it was last time. So it's about 42 degrees ish. So it's not too bad, but you can see my breath. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, so I'm out here gonna get my run in and we will pass you to Andrew. He'll show you his normal breakfast. If you haven't seen it before, you'll see it now. So let's pass it on to him. Good morning and welcome back. It is time for breakfast and this is what I have. So I have three fried eggs and I have some cheese underneath and some shredded hash browns there. So this is just whatever, what I have every morning. Um, and then I just kind of mix it around and it turns out really, really good. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be having this morning. And then, so there's the cheese and the hash browns. I cook it and uh, let the cheese melt and then I mix it all together. So this is what I'm gonna have. It is two cups of the hash browns and that is 70 calories for each cup so it's 140 calories and then I have three eggs which are 70 calories each so that's 210 and then I have a half of a serving of the shredded cheese which is 40 calories so it's a total of 390 calories I'm going to be having this morning. So if you like this, um, but don't want to spend this many calories, you can always, you know, just do one cup of the hash browns or even just like a cup and a half. And then you could do maybe just two eggs and, you know, you don't have to use cheese. I just, I like cheese. So that's what I'm going to be having. Or that's, I always add it because I just enjoy it. So. That's what I'm gonna be having, again, for breakfast, 390 calories, not too bad. And I will see you at lunch. Hey guys, so I just got ready and I'm about to head to work, but I wanted to show you real quick before it's busy at work today. Um, but I'm just having my normal coffee for breakfast, nothing else, I'm not feeling too hungry this morning, so just the normal coffee, it's like 68 calories, it's just, cold brew shots, almond milk, and uh, Italian sweet cream, sweet, sugar-free Italian sweet cream. And then I use the Jordan Skinny Syrups um, white chocolate mocha in it. It is so good. I just got it and it is, it is my favorite. So this is a delicious white chocolate mocha latte, which sounds super fancy for being made at home, but yeah. So that's gonna be my breakfast and I'll pass you on to Andrew for his lunch. This afternoon, I'm going to be having some chicken, shrimp, and rice. Three quarters cup cooked rice. Six ounces of chicken, three ounces of shrimp. And then I also added some sugar-free teriyaki sauce. And it's about five calories for a tablespoon. And I put maybe two, possibly three... So 10 to 15 calories, not too much extra, but I just added that to give it a little extra flavor. So there we go. Hey guys, welcome back. It is lunchtime and I did a meal prep this weekend. It's a Parmesan orzo pasta with grilled chicken. And I used this really fun colored orzo that I got recently. It was in a couple grocery hauls ago, but it's just a local like Boutique has like fancy artisan pastas and this one's really pretty. So let me show you the meal prep I have for lunch today. So I've got the pasta, which the recipe um, is just the pasta. It's a Parmesan cheese 
and like broth based um, sauce. Um, so it's not too bad. And I'm just paying for about three ounces of dry pasta basically is all the calories. <laughs> so, and then I've got three ounces of grilled chicken breast with the lemon pepper seasoning. It tastes so good. This is a very high lunch for me in my opinion. Um, I try to keep it around three to 400 or less, but pasta's worth it because this will keep me full. So I don't have to get munchy in the afternoon or and stuff like that. So, but yeah, it looks really, 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 really good. I'll put the lunch break down beside here. So that is my lunch for today. And then of course, more water. Gotta get the water in because I, I'm so bad at getting my water in. I have to constantly remind myself, but yeah. So that's my lunch and I will check in with you guys when I have my snack. Hey guys, so it is about 3.45 and I am ready for my snack. Afternoon munchies are a legit thing and I've kind of found like what works for me, interestingly enough, to keep my calories low and just something I enjoy. I don't know about you, but when I was young, I was a little oddball and I loved dipping veggies in ranch. Well, I loved ranch, but ranch is so high in sugar and fat and all that kind of stuff. So this ranch hack that I've been doing is amazing. So what I do is I take one of these just single serve plain Greek yogurts. Um, one container is 90 calories, but that's a lot of dip. I've tried it with a whole thing and I was like, Bleh. could feel my stomach so full. Um, so I use half of one and I save the other half so I can get two snacks out of one container for super cheap. Um, and I'll turn you around and I'll show you kind of what I do. So I use half of one of these containers or 75 grams worth if you're using bigger containers. That's just, it's basically a quarter cup kind of thing. And then I take this ranch seasoning, not the dips. The dips are fine, but they are calories. Whereas this just basic ranch seasoning, it is not calories for any amount. So I use this when I want the ranch flavor. The um, creamy dill and the fiesta are really great. They are dipped, so they are like 15 calories, but they taste great for a different flavor. So I take half a tablespoon per half of one of these. So if I'm doing a, like a shared dip with multiple people, I'll use a full one of these and one tablespoon. When it's just me and I use 75 grams, half of one of these, I only use half a tablespoon. It's the perfect amount of ratio. And then I found that I love the mini cucumbers. They're nice and crunchy. They're not too soft in the center. I'm a texture person. So the bigger cucumbers, when they're all kind of gooey in the center with the seeds, it kind of weirds me out sometimes. But the mini cucumbers don't have that. It's a nice little crunch. And then, so I have one of those sliced up. And then I have an ounce of baby carrots just quartered to dip, um, just to add some little, the color's pretty together, just to add some little variety. I actually just thought just now, I should see about getting like bro broccoli florets. That might be really fun to mix in here and dip in. The other really fun thing that I've tried is the mini peppers. So like the um, mini multicolored, bell, they're not bell peppers, but like the mini peppers. Those are great to slice up and dip in, but they do have a little bit of that peppery. It is a pepper aftertaste. So I, <laughs> I find myself like that aftertaste of those peppers does last a little long. So if you don't like the flavor of those, this won't help. Um, but those are great to do as well. Um, but I really like the cucumbers and the carrots. And this is a great, um, <laughs> dump that over. This is a great low calorie snack and it's very very filling because you're eating greek yogurt and so the greek yogurt keeps you full but you're also eating a lot of veggies anyways so it's about 65 ish calories i'll put it on the screen but yeah i've been loving this um and if any of you have any suggestions for different veggies that might go good in this ranch dip let me know i'd love to try more i think i will try the broccoli that might be fun i loved love broccoli with ranch growing up i love dipping that so yeah but yeah that's my uh snack and I will check in when we get home. Hey guys, welcome back. I am home and I just started on dinner. We are making what's kind of become one of our favorite recipes. Um, 
yeah, we made it a week ago and it was really good. It makes a lot of servings. We're gonna get, I think, six servings out of this. We have leftover. <laughs> love leftovers. But let me turn you around and show you. So we're making Tuscan chicken pasta. So I just turned on the stove. We're gonna put in garlic and sun-dried tomatoes and saute them and then we'll add the chicken and cook them. And then we add in chicken broth and the, we chose mini bow ties for our pasta. It's just so fun to eat. That's my favorite shape and I think it's Andrew's too. So we'll add in this whole box and let it cook in the chicken broth. I have this just in case. But all of it cooks in together so you get the nice sun-dried tomatoes flavor and all of it is so good and then the sauce is made from plain Greek yogurt fat-free cottage cheese and grated parmesan cheese so really really good and then you wilt in some spinach but I'm really excited so I'm gonna go ahead and get to cooking and I'll show you when it's done okay so I wanted to show you the pasta before I add the sauce because it's just so pretty before I add the sauce so hold on so this is fully cooked. I just think it is so pretty, the colors. The green is so sharp against the pasta. And then the sun-dried tomatoes pop in. I just think it's so pretty before we add the sauce. Because the sauce is kind of, I mean, it's kind of ugly. It's white, and it's goopy. And so I think this is the prettiest point with the chicken and the spinach and the sun-dried tomatoes and excuse the drippy mess I just drained it but this is a giant pot a lot of pasta so I guess I'll go ahead and add the sauce and divide it up for us all right so it is all portioned out and let me tell you because this is six servings the 500 I think it's 520 calories for the whole thing including the chicken and there's for about three and a half ounces of chicken, four ounces raw, cooked, etc., per bowl, which is great. And you do get um, two and a half. Wait, hold on. What's 16 divided by six? Two and three quarter. I don't know. Don't do math. So you do get almost three ounces of a dry pasta, which is a serving and a half. And it's 509 calories with the sauce. And it is a large <laughs> portion. So you could totally portion this out smaller. It is way doable. Like you could do it in, so eight would be your normal um, serving. It'd be two ounces of dried pasta for um, per, per serving, which is the recommended serving size for all pasta. Um, but look how nice and filling this portion is we love this recipe i don't know if you guys want a recipe video on it let me know down in the comments if you do because it is so easy um i don't know and it tastes really really good we do have to season it a lot to kind of get rid of uh, enough of that tang of the greek yogurt but still worth it so yeah this is what we're going to be doing andrew's um portion is the same we love our little pasta bowls and then we have a four lovely leftovers for this week and we'll probably freeze two of them and and keep two in the fridge for the rest of the week but yeah so yeah we're gonna go ahead and eat this up and watch some tv we are binging netflix right now so we'll check back in with dessert I closed it for my video. Mm -hmm. You opened it again. Anyways, so, hey guys, that dinner was really good. We told you, I told you. It's become one of our favorite recipes. It's really, really good. It's really easy to make. Um, my one tip in all of it would be to season it more than the recipe says. Um, we add lemon pepper seasoning and a good chunk of salt just to counterbalance the really tanginess of the Greek yogurt. But if you season it right, the Greek yogurt actually works really well with it. So yeah, really great. And now it's time for dessert because it's getting late and we are old people and want to go to bed. <laughs> but I want to try a new dessert that I got from Walmart. 
It is the... <laughs> it's the what? Yeah. What is it? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> what, what do you pronounce it as? Is it Andrew? It's oi. Yeah, that's what Andrew says. Oi. Every, every time. Every time I pick it up. That's what he says. Anyways, it's the Wee French um, yogurt. <laughs> the French yogurt uh, brand, but it's a layered dessert. So it is literally little jars of cherry cheesecake with graham cracker crust. So this is what the package looks like. There's only two of them and it is like four bucks, which is kind of expensive. Um, it is 290 calories per jar and one jar is only three and a half ounces. So it's a little high in calories, but when you're really craving that cheesecake, cause we love cheesecake and you can just crave it sometimes. I think we were craving it this weekend, weren't we? Yeah. Didn't we? We, we talked about cheesecakes. But I wanted to save this for the video, so I'm going to open it and show you what one little um, jar looks like real quick. So this is what it looks like. So you've got, the, obviously, I guess that's the cherry, the cheesecake, and the graham crackers, which is pretty cool. Um, it should be full fat, full flavor, full all that kind of stuff. Um, and there's the top. And it's good for about a month and a half, it looks like. We got these last week and it will expire in three weeks, so maybe a month. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. I love that it's glass. So I may, this is so cute. Ooh, and look, what's really cool. Okay, I just discovered this. I don't know if this is, I've never tried any of the Wee French uh, yogurts, but this label that says the brand, I can take that off. And the rest of it is an unmarked jar. I'm reusing this sucker. I love little jars and little bottles. So I wonder if that was, that was probably their intention to be more sustainable. If it is, bravo, because this is going in like my cabinet for a little, you can get, dip your ketchup out of this. So next week when we make our uh, <laughs> fish and chips, he can put a little ketchup in this and dip his little french fries in it. Uh, I don't need gifts. I just want jars. Anyway, so that'll be mine. 290 calories, but I saved up just for this. And I ran this morning just for this. So anyways, welcome to my TED Talk. Thank you. And your dessert. So I am going to be having an Alani bar. And it's the Munchies. Uh, so we just got these in. And they're very, very good. Uh, this one is 170 calories, and it is the uh, pretzels, and... It's like a chocolate-covered pretzel. Yeah. But it's salted, so it's all got all that. So it's, it's very good. The best bar out of all their stuff. I don't know about that. And then... He likes the PB. I said one. Yeah. Um... Uh, and then this weekend, somebody made me some banana muffins. So I'm going to warm up one of these. And it's 100 calories. Mm -hmm. So I have um, a little over 200 calories uh, total. But I did get some, like, workout active, active calories. So I'm just going to use a, a little bit of it. I'm definitely not going to use anywhere near as much as I calories, did maybe. earn. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be, you know, two hundred and twenty, uh, calories for this, and I have two hundred calories left. So I'm gonna yeah. just be going over a little bit, really. Yeah, so. and I'll put the total calories on the screen for you guys, like your last time. So, but yeah, so that'll be our evening. We're gonna enjoy our desserts and our jars. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching our videos. We really appreciated the support. Um, all the love you guys gave us on our first calorie counting video was really great. And I'm so sorry for the amount of times that I realized I said points and didn't correct myself. It's a learning curve, but we're getting there. Uh, we're getting there. I don't even know if I said points once in the video before now. We'll see when I'm editing. I will put it down here if I'm wrong. But yeah, so again, thank you guys so much for your support. Any questions, any comments, any suggestions, throw them down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not and join our jar-loving community here. <laughs> and with that, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye, guys.